Larry, did you find everything okay? He puts in hours like he owns the place. Okay. He's always here. I don't know when he goes to school. <laughs> Treats customers like he owns the place. He sacks everything up and he takes it to my car. Mostly because he owns the place. People really appreciate that, and that'll keep my customers coming back. Can I talk to you later? This isn't a real good time. 17-year-old Nick okay. Graham just bought the Main Street Market in Truman, Minnesota. He may be the youngest grocer in America. When you first bought the place, did you know how to run a grocery store? No, I have to tell you the truth, I've never went grocery shopping before. <laughs> Nick saved the money, mostly from working around his uncle's turkey farm. The down payment on the grocery store was more than $10,000. Money that could have gone towards a college tuition could have gotten him out of here. This community has been struggling for the past um, past few years. It's kind of been in a downward spiral, and I, I didn't want to see that continue. So when the town's only grocery store closed earlier this year, Nick felt his calling. I'm here hopefully to make a profit, but I'm, I'm not here for that in and of itself. I'm here because this community needs me to be here. And maybe he needs them right back. Nick's dad died when he was four, and his mom has since moved out of the state. He now lives with his grandma, Dorothy. I was not for it right away, and finally I decided to just let him go. I was worried for him, but it turned out fine. And the town was so behind him once he got going. They're all coming. Today, just about everyone in town is a regular. Shopping out of town would be heresy. Some people even volunteer stocking the shelves. It gives the whole community a sense of confidence. It lets Truman know that Truman is going to stay here. It is a time when people realize that to succeed, we all have to work together. Hope. It's what's on special this week at the Main Street Market in Truman, Minnesota. And last thing, can we have just a little sample of your DNA so we can clone you? No, I'm serious. And, and we have one of you in every little town in America. So just a little sample of hair or something like that. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. His next goal is to try to find Truman a pharmacist and to graduate, of course. He's so dear. He really is a hometown hero, he's isn't he? He's a great he? kid. But he's a businessman, too. He makes his, his grandma pay full price for groceries. Good for him. That's funny.